everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we're going to be doing a comic haul for November 6th. Plenty of books to talk about this week, so let's get into it. Uh, go over to the other camera here. Let's start with indie books. Uh, this first one is Something is Killing the Children, issue zero. This is a special issue that they put out. Uh, this is a Chris Bacalo variant. Uh, very cool. I haven't read it, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. Next, we have from Boombox, The Fade, number one. This is a new comic. Uh, I haven't really gotten into it yet. Uh, we did get an advanced copy, but uh, I just there was too many things for me to check out this week. But I'll definitely be checking this out. Maybe I'll talk about it more in the channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next, we do have one that I did a review for. This is Living Hell, number one. From Dark Horse Comics, uh, Caitlin Yarsky, both writing and doing the story. Really, really cool stuff. I really enjoy this first issue. So highly, highly recommend you check that one out. Uh, next, we have FML. This is the new comic from Dark Horse by Kelly Sue DeConnick and David Lopez, um, the team from Captain Marvel. So if you want a comic that is a little bit uh, coming of age, a little bit rock and roll, a little bit witchcraft. This is the book for you. Uh, Kelly Swift the Conic always, always gets me to at least check out a number one. And then last but not least, on the indie side, we have DuckTales, number one. As you can see, this is a foil variant. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Uh, this is a new book from Dynamite, new series. So really excited to check this out as well. Haven't read it, but looking forward to it for sure. All right, let's go over to the Marvel side, where we also had some really interesting stuff, actually. Uh, first, we have Aliens versus Avengers, number two. Uh, this continues the great story that Jonathan Hickman is doing with Azad Ribic, uh, facing off, you know, the aliens having to face off against the Xenomorph. I mean, the Avengers having to face off against the Xenomorphs. I really like this variant. I love that the title and everything is actually green, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we have Avengers number 20. This is the Black Panther story. I have a review for it on the channel. Make sure to go check it out. Really, really cool. Uh, next, a new issue as well. Negasonic Teenage Warhead number one. I believe this actually collects uh, a digital series that Marvel put out for Negasonic Teenage Warhead. So, uh, yeah, recommend you check that out or maybe go on the Marvel Unlimited app and check it out there. Uh, a new book as well, um, voice, Marvel Voices special, Kahori, Reshaper of Worlds, number one. Uh, Kahori is one of those characters. I believe she's the first um, MCU animated uh, original character that's come over to the comics. Uh, really cool. Kahori from the What If series from season two. Very exciting stuff. We're getting some announcements for season three coming out this winter, so... Uh, hope to see this character back. Next, we have Ryan Stegman and Jed McKay on X-Men number seven. Fantastic cover. I don't know what's going on. I haven't read this issue. As you can see, the box behind it is also by Ryan Stegman for his X-Men run. Uh, very much looking forward to this. Next, we have the last Marvel book for the week. Ultimates number six, Dennis Camp, Juan for Gary, doing excellent work to close out the first arc. As you can see here, battling the Hulk of this Ultimate Universe. Really, really good stuff. Make sure to go check it out. Uh, next, let me skip down. There's a book that I have multiple copies of because it's like the hot book for the week. So we'll leave that till last. Uh, we have Batgirl number one, uh, Tate Bromble, and I forget, like Takeshi Miyasawa uh, giving us a Batgirl series following Cassandra Cain. We haven't had one of those in a minute, so very excited to actually uh, see where this goes. We do have a review for this on the channel, so if you're looking forward to some thoughts on that, make sure to go check it out there. Uh, next, we have, let me remove the cover here. This is the blank cover for JSA, Justice Society of America, number one. New book by Jeff Lemire. Uh, we do have the normal cover right behind that. Really, really enjoy this, but I really want to make sure that we get a little bit more before I decide whether I'm going to keep reading this. Uh, next, Batman number 154. Full review on the channel. What can I tell you? I'm loving this series, and unfortunately, Chip Zdarsky's run is coming to an end pretty soon, so 
you know, uh, it'll, that'll be a, a sad time. But I've been loving the stuff that he's been doing. And then uh, Birds of Prey, number 15. I haven't read this one. Jeff on the show uh, said that this was great. So make sure to check it out. Uh, I'm a little behind on Birds of Prey. I feel like a lot of issues have come out very recently, like the me even more than once a month. And uh, last but definitely not least, a bunch of covers for Absolute Superman number one. Definitely my pick of the week, uh, specifically on the DC side. There was a lot of really good stuff this week, and you can go check out. We have a full review of this on the channel, or you can go check it out as well. Uh, but now, let me show you some of the other covers that I picked up. We have the foil variant for this with the emblem. Uh, similar to the Superman emblem, a little bit stylized, a little bit different. Uh, but that's very cool. We have a blank cover. So I can get maybe a commission or a sketch or something like that later on in the future from, uh, you know, at one of the conventions. That'll be fun. Uh, we have the Jim Lee cover. This was uh, the first one I picked up. My shop actually pulled this one for me. Uh, they must have run out of the A covers because that's... Usually I'll ask for the A cover mainly, uh, but but luckily all these variants that are cardboard have uh, have the cover right behind it. So, and then last but not least, the West Craig variant. Actually, um, as far as the set, like West Craig did a really good job with these three, uh, with all the absolute titles. Um, he did one for Wonder Woman, one for Batman, and one for Superman. Now. And I'm very happy that I have them all. So if you haven't checked out the Absolute um, absolute uh, Universe over at DC, it is fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it. So there you have it. That's all we have for now. Uh, if you picked up any of these books, let me know what you thought about them down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.